one. Welcome to Concerning Pipers, a podcast concerning all things pipes and tobacco. I'm your host, Mike. I am Joe Nome. And I am Carrick, the Georgia Piper. All right. What's up, Carrick and Joe? Glad you guys are with me. How are y'all doing tonight? Good. Got my Bucky's lighter, got my beer. A Bucky's lighter. Beer. All right. Okay, what you what you got? What you drinking on? Um, I am drinking some liquid death lime. He's drinking water. Yeah, a little out of a little out of the norm. I'm usually drinking a beer, but this this works too. All right, all right. So, a little housekeeping as usual. I want to talk a little bit about our Patreon. Our Patreon is live. Uh, we have got some really, really cool stuff over there for those who want to um, participate. Again, it's always appreciated, never expected. Um, I think for five dollars you get uh, some stickers and some samples. Uh, Ten dollars you get a pocket jar and stickers and samples. And for twenty dollars you get a coffee coffee mug, pocket jar, stickers and samples. And by samples, I mean some samples from Ant Man is make make some house blends for us that are phenomenal. He, unfortunately, could not be with us tonight due to responsibilities on the home front, so we miss him dearly, but the show must go on. Um, Speaking of show, we've got a special, special episode for you guys, and we are going to talk about Sunbear. Sunbear, Mountain Flower, Cornell and Deal, Small Batch. Um... And uh, it's, it's the newest small batch from Cornell and Deal. It's not out yet. It comes out Tuesday, August 2nd um, at midnight on SmokeOfPipes.com. Make sure you get it at SmokeOfPipes.com. Um, they're awesome. Great shipping. And um, they'll take good care of you. So let's, let's, talk, let's dive in. We'll talk about the uh, what's in this tobacco. Um, so we've got um, North Carolina Red and... Canadian Bright, 2019 Bright, Virginia Source from Canada. Uh, 2019 Bosma from Greece. Uh, we have got 2018 Izmir from Turkey. And a unique casing, this is where it gets really interesting, a unique casing which features single berry origin honey from blackberry nectar and wildflower nectar in Morgantown, North Carolina. Now, what makes that cool is Morgantown, North Carolina was Cornell and Deal's original location when they first started as a small business in 1992. So the fact that they're able to take a small business and come back to their roots and, and make this blend from another small business is really something special. And we're very, very thankful to have the opportunity to. Hello, friends. Joe Gnome here, coming at you with a uh, tin opening of Sun ba- Sunbear Mountain Flower, small batch Sunbear Mountain Flower, the uh, third edition of Sunbear. All the Sunbears so far being a uh, combination of Bright and Red Virginias with Basmir and Izmir, each one having a different uh, sort of type of honey added to it. For topping this one is uh, blackberry and wildflower honey. There's a description. I do love Quinnellan Deal's tin art. Let's see what we have. paper out the way. It's always a time getting through this tab. More paper. There you go. Try to flip those upward. Here we are. Nice uh 
light, medium, and dark browns. I can smell it. I can actually smell it from here, that, that honey. It's really nice. Uh, it's, it's probably smokable now. It's got. It seems like it's at a good uh, humidity level. Uh, this is definitely something I'll just put in a pipe without any drying time, just to try it out and, and then decide afterwards uh, whether it needs drying time or or not. But it feels like it's good actually. Of course, I'm getting this getting sweet. I think it's the sweetest one yet. At least for the uh, the tin note. Curious to see how it smokes. But yeah, what I what I like about Sunbear so far is that none of them are heavy-handed with the topping with the aromatic. Um, you still get the flavors of the bready notes of the Virginias and the the sour of the Orientals. So I'm excited to see how this one goes. Talk to you later. Yeah, it's there. All right. I appreciate Joe on that video, man. It's great. I appreciate the description and the, a really good look at the tin there. Um, so let's talk about, you know, what are your guys' thoughts on the tobacco? And Joe, we'll start with you. Uh. To me, I'm getting like, uh, so it, it's closer in my mind to the original Sun Bear than it is to Locust. Uh, to me, it's, it's a Sun Bear with a little bit of berry just on the background. That I think that blackberry flavor does come through a little bit um, ever so slightly. You have to kind of be thinking about berries already. Um, It's got some nice bread notes from those Virginias. Those Orientals come through really nicely. Um, and like, uh, so you get a, a sweet and sour, uh, really nice flavor combination there. I agree. Uh, come, yeah, there you go. I, I agree. Like, like, like you said, I, you really got to be, um, I mean, you're already in your head, right? You're thinking, you know, blackberries and, and mountain flower and, and it, honey, and it, it transports you there. It's a very, uh, what's the word? Trans transportational blend. I just made up a word, I think. But, right, it takes you there. And um, they did a good job. I'm actually smoking it in my 1998 uh, Demina from Sir Jacopo. Gonna check that out. It's one of my newer pipes in my... And uh, Carrick, what are your thoughts? What are you smoking it in? What do you think? So I am smoking it in a owl pipe, which is one of my favorite artists on Instagram. Um, immediately when I opened up the tin, I never had the original Sun Bear, so I can't compare it to that. But I, as you know, I loved Black Locust. Um, I feel like you're getting a whole lot more of a floral note um, just from the tin as you open it than you are with Black Locust. And then you also do get, like Joe said, the little sweet and sour kind of pain of the honey, the berry. And I, I would be willing to say that I enjoy it more than I do with Black Locust. And that's not to take away from Black Locust at all, but this is fantastic. I don't even smoke vapors usually, and uh, which I guess this really isn't a, a this isn't a vapor. Excuse me, it's a Virginia and Oriental, but I'm not a big just straight Virginia guy. I love Latakia, Balkans, and Englishes. Uh, this one is really, really, really good, and uh, I'm not just saying that to build hype. I, I'm saying that this is definitely worth checking out. At least grab a ten or twelve. As many as you can, and um, stock up because this stuff is uh, really good. You're gonna hear a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people saying that it's uh, the bee's knees, right? You know, 
<laughs> I see what you did there, Mike. Right? You see what I did there? Okay. Um, so I want to talk about um, pairing options with this blend. Like, so if you're, I don't know, out at a bar or out at a, a social gathering and you've got an option of grabbing either an alcoholic beverage or you're out in the morning and you're thinking about having tea or coffee, what would you pick for this uh, this blend? Joe? Okay. Oh. Yep. Wants to go. All right, so before Joe gets to it, I'll go ahead and say it. I think this would pair excellent with a hot tea. It has enough of the honey taste that at least when I drink hot tea, I like honey in the tea. And I feel like this would complement tea just very well. And Joe's a little bit more eclectic on the tea side of things. Um, I don't know about drinking it with coffee. That might be an option. I'll probably try that. But I think tea would definitely be a candidate. Okay. Joe, what you got? Uh, I'm going to say, since he said always said tea, I would have to go with uh, specifically a peach tea, like a uh, Snapple peach tea or even like a green iced tea. <laughs> I'd, I'd do a green iced tea with this all day. It's a nice summery combination you get uh, floral notes out of both of them i'm gonna go with the 21 and up option and i'm gonna pick uh probably jack and honey Ooh, yeah honey jack with jack honey you know with a little bit of i don't know some coke and i think that'd be good or um maybe some knob creek and sprite or some something that's a little light and airy on the on the uh the whiskey side and yeah. pair it well a cream soda would be a great a choice too. Cream soda is good. Yeah, yeah, I, I like cream soda a lot. Yeah, I mean, anything. So right. Um. So again, this blend drops Tuesday, August second at midnight on smokeofpipes.com. Moving on, we're gonna do some uh, media a media shout out. I've only got one, unless you guys can think of one or two to shout out. I'm gonna shout out. Redeemed Pipes, redeemedpipes.com. Uh, he has got an eBay, eBay commerce store full of pipes, um, all prices, some lower, some higher, all really good looking. And um, yeah, check him out and see if he has one that you could add to your collection. Uh, Joe, Carrick, any media shout outs? No, I'll leave you in charge of that, Mike. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so even though we're not in any affiliation with him, I would definitely shout out Owl Pipes. I have a few of his pipes and these they're, they're very unique in shape and everything. As you can see, they're, they're not your normal pipe, but hey. He's a great guy to deal with. He's very reasonably priced, and his pipes smoke excellent. Not a sponsor yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of sponsors, this podcast is sponsored by Softy Bits. Softy Bits are an essential part of the pipe smoker's arsenal and make clinching effortless. Remember, if it doesn't say Softy, it's not the real thing. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I want to thank uh, Joe and Carrick for um, coming in with me on this blend and being able to sample it. I want to thank Jeremy Reeves and Cornell and Deal for getting it out to us and making this video possible. Be sure to tune in next time. And also in the comments, if you guys would leave uh, some notes about what we should talk about next episode, um, we'd love to take uh, recommendations on what you guys want to see. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. All right. All right, cut. Cut. <laughs> Take number right. 47. Yeah. yeah. I saw the I saw it's being recorded, so we that was one good this time. Yeah, it was recorded this time. So. Yeah. Michael asked me how long is it gonna take because he wanted dinner. <laughs> um and I said anywhere from a half hour to two hours, depending on if Mike remembers to hit record.
<laughs> oh, he's never lived that down. No. Yeah. What's the good shit? I mean, we can jump over to uh, Discord now if y'all want, and we can talk there. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yep. Right, so Disco, come over to us with the, the Discord. Oh, you gone. <laughs> he gone. He gone. He's like, all right, bye, guys. <laughs>